Hello leaders, Patrick Jinx here, leadership and strategy coach and president of the Jinx Perspective. Today we're going to talk about four types of people you might want on your board. Let's cue it up. Scholars of board leadership have almost all certainly referred at some point to a 2005 book by Richard Chait, William Ryan, and Barbara Taylor entitled Governance as Leadership. It's a great book and I highly recommend it. Most people who have read the book probably remember it for its breakdown of three modes of governance, fiduciary, strategic, and generative. We might come back to that uh, framework in a future episode, but today I'd like to share a part of the book that you might have let slip, and it's a critical element. The authors refer to four types of capital that make a board stronger, intellectual, reputational, political, and social. I'm not sure why they didn't include financial capital, because I'm sure we could all use more of that on our boards. But I was asked recently which type of the four capitals in the book is the most valuable to a board, and my answer is it depends. Let's break them down. If your organization needs board members with deep subject matter expertise on the issue that your mission addresses, you may want people with intellectual capital on your board. Healthcare, the environment, diversity, equity, and inclusion, micro lending, these are all issues where having intellectual capital on your board can give you a significant advantage. Then there's reputational capital. If your organization's brand value is high in your community, you want to protect it. And you want board members whose representation of your organization you can trust to advance the brand. Political capital is valuable if your organization is engaged in public policy or advocacy, or if your mission work is constrained by any regulatory barriers. And finally, social capital. Of course, this is the kind of capital you need if your organization depends heavily on fund development, uh, but it's much more than that. Social capital can open all kinds of doors. Here's why I share these four types of capital with you. Many of you use a board matrix for recruiting. I recommend it. It shows where your gaps are in terms of race and ethnicity, skill set, geography, any demographics you want to include. You may want to add these four types of capital to your matrix and ask yourselves, which type do we need most right now? And I'll let that help inform your decision about who you go to to fill your next board seat. That's the Jinx Perspective for this week. As always, if you want to find ways that the Jinx Perspective can help you, your organization, achieve greater clarity, simplicity, and alignment in your mission work, reach out and schedule a free discovery call with me by clicking the link in the video description below. And if you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe to this channel below and click the bell icon to notify you when we drop new episodes. And share this with a colleague that you think could benefit from it. Pay it forward. See you next week.